When Pope John XXIII opened the Second Vatican Council in 1962, he called it the supreme interest of the Council that the sacred deposit of Christian doctrine would be guarded and taught more and more effectively. With that goal in mind, Vatican II produced 16 final documents. One of them, Nostra Aetate, was a declaration on the relation of the Church to non-Christian religions. The document highlights what the Catholic Church and non-Christian religions have in common, those connections. For example, the fact that early followers of Jesus Christ were Jewish. Nostra Aetate summarizes, The Church, therefore, exhorts her sons that through dialogue and collaboration with the followers of other religions, carried out with prudence and love and witness to the Christian faith and life, they recognize, preserve, and promote the good things, spiritual and moral, as well as the socio-cultural values found among these men. Nostra Aetate was, uh, was a groundbreaking document. Bishop David Zubik of the Diocese of Pittsburgh believes the document helped set the record straight on the deep roots of Judaism found in Catholicism and corrected any historic blame Christians have placed on Jews for the death of Christ, creating a mindset of animosity toward Jewish people. I think what the document was able to do is say, wait a minute, you know, uh, we're all responsible for the death of Jesus because our sinfulness. Nostra Aetate also examines Islam, recognizing that Muslims acknowledge Jesus as a prophet, honor the Virgin Mary, and they value the moral life and worship God, especially through prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. This week marks 56 years since Nostra Aetate was proclaimed by Pope Paul VI. We asked members of non-Christian religions to weigh in on the Vatican text. We're worshiping in different ways, but sharing the same prophets and many of the same stories. Abdul Malik Merchant is an imam, a leader in his Islamic community in Alexandria, Virginia. He shares a reverence for the good found in different faiths. I'm Muslim, my theology is Islam, but I love finding the beauty and the truth and all of these things in different traditions. Daniel Mark is a practicing Orthodox Jew. I think that um, Jewish moral values are very closely aligned with Catholic moral values. Mark is living out a mission to promote truth in education. He's a professor at Villanova, a Catholic university. I think the church um, is an extremely important institution in our world uh, because of the role it plays in uh, teaching and promoting the truth. Finding common ground between followers of different faiths can translate into promoting peace for all and help provide healing during tragic times. Bishop Zubik says his diocese in Pittsburgh has a historic close relationship with the city's Jewish community. And when a lone gunman's anti-Semitic attack killed 11 people inside the Tree of Life synagogue in 2018, giving support came naturally. It's a friendship that exists between our people. You know, I know that there's just a very friendly spirit uh, that exists between us. Going forward, Bishop Zubik says much work still remains to live out the call of Nostra Aetate. The document concludes in some of its final words, We cannot truly call on God, the Father of all, if we refuse to treat in a brotherly way any man created as he is in the image of God. Mark Irons, EWTN News In-Depth.